I'm going to attempt to read 30 books in one month. So why am I doing this, you may ask? I have a gigantic physical TBR. I am going to be attempting to read 60 books in 60 days in an attempt to get my physical TBR down. But obviously, that is 30 books a month. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might as well subscribe now so you can follow along with me on this journey that I'm going on for the next two months and you can get your physical TBR down as well alongside me. I have this video in sections though. I did post 10 polls asking you guys to blindly choose choose my TBR for July. What I didn't tell you guys is that's only going to be one third of this video. So we're going to just start from the very beginning here. Our first post, post one out of ten. The options were blue or pink. The Tatiami Galaxy and Mrs. Nash's Ashes. Blue won this. So the first book on my July TBR is going to be the Tatiami Galaxy. If you're part of me and Andrew's book club, I'm sorry. We were supposed to read this in March and we didn't. This challenge is going to be a really good time for me to read a lot of books I've been putting off. I don't know why I've been putting this off. Everybody says I'm going to like it. The concept is so interesting. It's about this girl who's kind of like hurtling through alternate versions of her reality. So it's like a kind of a sci-fi type B. It's like a parallel universe type thing. I just think that is so interesting. I also heard there's like an animated series because one of you guys told me. So if I like this, I might watch that. I just think it'd be fun. I actually hadn't heard about this book before, but then I saw the cover. It caught my eye and I read the back and it's like, oh my gosh, how interesting is this kind of like chronicling her existential crisis so you know deeper meanings metaphors all that this will be like a really good lit thick read and with that we are putting mrs nash's ashes back on this so there is still a possibility any book that wasn't chosen here may get chosen for the other part of the tbr guys i don't know if i'm in over my head on this i really don't but i'm gonna try the next post i made was pink or black so pink was daisy hates the great undoing and black was under lock by mariana zapata the one that won there was was pink. So kind of thank God. No offense, Miss Mariana Zapata, but I bought this book and then I saw Ellen Catherine review it and everything she said about it, I was like, oh, I'm going to hate that. And she didn't like it. And now I'm like really scared for it. So like I said, still a possibility that we will pick it, but I am really excited to have Daisy Hates the Great Undoing on my TBR. I've heard people say really good things about this one in particular. I just read Long Way Home. I'm not going to lie, guys. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I think Jessa Hastings has beautiful writing, but I just didn't like care for it as much as I wanted to care for it. So I'm a little nervous as the series keeps continuing on as I'm kind of feeling like, am I going to enjoy this as it keeps going? But I've heard really good things about this. I personally like Daisy more than Magnolia. Next one was yellow or green. Yellow was caught up by Liz Tom Ford and green was king of greed. And the winner here was green, king of greed. I feel like this might be one that people wanted caught up to win, but y'all didn't know which was which. I'm excited about king of greed. I've heard really good things about this one. It's king of sloth that I'm not hearing great things about that I'm a little worried about. I'm just excited to continue this series. If you don't know what this is, it is Anna Hong's newest series. She wrote the Twisted series. And I do really like Anna Hong's writing. She writes really good like escapism and romances like they're a little silly they're not like super serious but they're good so like you're still rooting for our character I think this will be a quick easy read which I will be needing quick easy reads because there are gonna be days where I'm really busy and don't have a ton of time to read the next poll was purple or orange the purple book in this was none of this is true by Lisa Jewell and the orange one was Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney also if you guys couldn't tell I tried to kind of like categorize these the one that won was purple meaning none of this is true by Lisa Jewell will be added to the TBR. I think a thriller will be great for a challenge like this. Just fun, quick, easy, fast paced. I like the idea of the unreliable narrator. An unreliable narrator is like one of my favorite tropes in books, in fiction in general, if it's done well. So that's what I'm going to be looking for for this. The thing that I'm excited about this one is people get to the ending and they're like, I still don't know what happened, but not like in a confused way, in a like, oh my gosh, what is true way? I kind of love that, especially like with the title. I mean, Lisa Jewell's telling us what we're getting ourselves into. Our next poll, was blue or purple and those two books were actually both novellas and it's Six Scorched Roses which is the novella in the Crowns of Nyaxia series which is the like Serpent in the Wings of Night if you don't know and Powerful by Lauren Roberts. This one was really close but I think you guys are gonna be excited. The one that won was Powerful so Purple won on this poll. I'm so pumped to read this and it's good that I got this for my July TBR because July 2nd 
July 2nd, Reckless comes out, baby. It's like two weeks away, and I cannot promise that I won't read that right away. Like, that has to be on my TBR somehow. You trust, trust. Sometime in this video, you will see me try to add that to my TBR. You know, I do have to get to this so I can read that book as soon as I get my hands on it. I am so excited. I love Powerless. The next poll was green or red, and this one I picked two really anticipated new releases for me. For this one, green was Funny Story by Emily Henry, and red was Not in Love by Ali Hazelwood. And the book that won this poll was Red, meaning Not in Love by Ali Hazelwood. I am so excited. Ali Hazelwood's an autobi author for me. This is still one of her like steminist novels, but it is a lot more angsty. So it's like a little different than like the normal rom-com that she's doing. At least that's what I've heard. It's about this girl who works at a company and a, like a rival company either like comes in or buys the company out or something like that. And it's like her and the rival guy. Our next poll was between Blue and yellow and for this one blue was air of fire and yellow was gleam so these are both third books and fantasy series so the book that won in this case was yellow and that is gleam by raven kennedy this book is about 800 pages will be a day that i have absolutely nothing going on i think that book is honestly the largest book on my physical tbr currently i might have been setting myself up by putting it there but i really want to continue on with the series i'm really enjoying it our next options were white or purple and in this case white was yours truly by abby jimenez and purple was carrie soto is back the one that won was purple meaning carrie soto is back is on our tbr i cannot believe i haven't read this book yet i am a taylor jenkins read stan i've read almost everything she's ever written except for like one book of hers one of my favorite authors of all time for sure and this book came out like nearly two years ago and i still have not read it next options were pink or blue the pink book was the second book in the percy jackson series and the blue book was Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. Blue one baby. Aristotle and Dante, another book that I know for a fact I'm going to enjoy, but I've been putting off. I just want to be in the perfect mood to like fully enjoy this. I know it is like amazing literature and I know I'm going to think that. I'm like a huge English literature nerd and I just need to be in the mood for that, but I have been in the mood for it much more lately. Finally, our last options were green or pink and the books we were choosing between for them, green was Happily Ever After by Lynn Painter. Pink was Love and Other Flight Delays. Once again, Pink came out on top, y'all. It is Love and Other Flight Delays. I am really excited to read this. Had it on my like mental TBR for a while. The only reason I didn't get it last summer was because I had a huge summer TBR last summer and I went on a book buying ban at the end of it. Kind of like I did right now. I'm on another book buying ban. First 10 books of the video are chosen. We still have 20 left to choose. As I say it, it just keeps sounding more and more insane to me. Why am I doing this to myself. So now the next portion of the video is going to be TBR jar prompt picks the next 10 books on my July TBR. So I have my TBR jar here filled with prompts that I wrote last month. I did do my like TBR in June with these. We're gonna pick 10 of these. The first prompt we are picking is going to say, oh <laughs> I forgot I wrote this one. This says throw a piece of paper. This is so stupid. I'm gonna crumble this up and throw it, and whatever book it hits is gonna be the one on my TBR. Low-key, it was between two of them. I might replay that and notice that it hit one, but with my vision, with my eyesight that I saw right now, it was between Bad Girl Reputation and The Other Side of Disappearing. I am going to choose Bad Girl Reputation for this. I do want to read The Other Side of Disappearing eventually, like pretty soon. Another like kind of like romancy lip fic, but still a romance technically, I think. But this is the second book in a series that I really want to finish this summer specifically because it's like a very summery series. So I just like made it a goal to do like one book each month of summer. And I read the first one in June. It wasn't my favorite, but I did like the writing because I do like Elle Kennedy. I do think I'll like this one more because the reason the first one wasn't my favorite was the characters. Y'all will see that. Y'all will see that in another video. This one I'm hopeful for. This one I am hopeful for. Our next TBR prompt for our next book we're going to read in the month of July. Book title starting with the first letter of your name. Okay, this is one we got in June too. Oh, this is the only G book. Wow, another Elle Kennedy. How funny. I know I told you I liked her writing. I didn't realize I had so many of her books. 
books, like on my TBR. A Girl Abroad by Elle Kennedy is gonna be the next one. This is a love triangle. It is a romance. I don't know who she ends up with, actually. I think this is a newer release for Elle Kennedy. It's about this girl who goes to London on, like, a study abroad or something like that. I think this is just gonna be, like, a fun, quick, easy read, even though it is, like, a little longer, because it's just, like, a silly little Elle Kennedy book. I really, really love Elle Kennedy's book. We're just, like, getting those, like, quick reads in, because her writing just flows so nicely. Okay, our next book. Our next book is going to be... This one was on my June TBR, too. I think I need to reach further down, but it says, buy a book you have been wanting, you deserve it. I'm actually in a book buying band, guys, but like I said earlier, I have Reckless pre-ordered already. So this is going to Reckless, baby. This is going to Reckless. It's already coming. It's already pre-ordered. I already technically bought it. So I'm so pumped for it. I'm so excited. And everyone's saying like, it's amazing. So I'm ready. I need to just do it. I need to get it done. I need to like try picking deeper into here. Okay, let's see. Ah, my hand's getting stuck. Our next prompt is shortest book on your TBR. That is so perfect. I do have Mother Night by Kurt Vonnegut. Possibly Happily Never After. Possibly Have I Told You This Already. This might be it, y'all. The shortest book on the TBR, which is perfect because, like I said, I will be needing short books for when I have busy days if I'm trying to read a book a day still. It's going to be Have I Told You This Already by Lauren Graham. Just her book of essays. I went to the book tour for this before I read it simply because I wanted to see Lorelai Gilmore. Our next book is going to be a fantasy book. A fantasy book right over here. So let's see what fantasy books we have. Crooked Kingdom counts as a fantasy book. Possibly The Bridge Kingdom. Possibly Air of Fire. Six Scorch Roses is in the running once again. And on the bottom shelf that y'all can't really see, I have these Twisted Bond. Guys, I know what I'm gonna pick. I know I have like a whole stack here, but I know what I'm gonna pick and I know it's The Bridge Kingdom because this was an option in my June TBR and I didn't pick it and everyone in my comments was like, oh my God, read it. And so now I'm excited. I've been like waiting for an excuse to pick this book specifically. So The Bridge Kingdom it is. I'm also trying to like kind of like mix these books up as I do this so when I blindly choose my TBR I have less of like an inkling of like what book is what. Our next book we are choosing is going to be my most recent purchase. I did post a book haul recently but after that I went on a book buying ban. Part of that haul, oh so you know how I said I was on a book buying ban after my last book haul? I did kind of break it because I forgot this book was coming out in June. So I only got one, but my most recent purchase is in fact Love Unwritten. I really am on a book buying ban now. Like none after this, I promise. But I forgot this was coming out and I saw it in Target and it was on the 20% off and I was like, I have to buy it. So this is the second book in Lauren Asher's newest series. I'm really excited about this. Lauren Asher is one of those authors where she was already good to begin with, but with every book she writes, she just gets better. So it just is like a constant like one-upping herself. I'm excited about this. I love the last book in the series. I think I'm gonna love this one. I also just love the cover. Big. It is a big book, but I can do it, y'all. I can read that book in a day. You mark my words. I know I'll do it no matter if I'm doing the challenge or not, you know? The next book, oh, a thriller! Daisy Darker might get a chance now because I think that might be the only thriller on here. So Daisy Darker it is, y'all. Daisy Darker is adding to our July TBR. I think it's good to have variation, especially if I am trying to read one book a day. I do want to like do this in such a way that I am strategic so I don't get burnt out. This is not normal. I would never like try to normally do this, but that's why it's a challenge. That's why it's fun. I have over 160 books on my physical TBR and that's actually ridiculous. So the next book that is going to be on my July TBR is going to be, ooh, one fell out, so I'm gonna grab that one. The one that fell out is published this year. Funny Story was published this year, y'all. The Other Side of Disappearing was published this year. Happily Never After was published this year. And then The Breakup List was published this year. I'm in between two right now. I'm in between The Breakup List and Happily Never After because they're both like short and I think I could get through them quickly and I do need some short reads, like I said, for those days that I am not having a lot of time. This is YA, this is an adult. I did get this sent to me and I'm so, so excited for it though. I'm kind of leaning towards the breakup list. It is about these two theater kids, one's an actor, one's a techie. I was in theater in high school, so I feel like I'll just like relate to this. I'll enjoy it. I'm excited. The breakup list it is. I need three more prompts. Our next prompt is a two word title. Your night is possibility, your Truly is a possibility. Under lock is a possibility. Wow, I have like a lot of options here. My heart is telling me to choose Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. I really am excited about this and I really want to get through this series like this summer too. I would like to read like one book in this series a month. I do really just want to get through this series this summer because just for this summer would be like a great way to end it out. I'm a little nervous because I've heard there's great anxiety rep. I have diagnosed anxiety. Like I do have diagnosed 
generalized anxiety disorder but because I do have that diagnosis I could see this kind of being a hard read for me because I've heard the representation of anxiety is like really really good in this two more books on this list the next one is a booktuber favorite I'm gonna be real with you guys Destiny Sidwell is the booktuber who inspired me to like start my channel at all she was one of the people I believe that really got behind the net like on the map Let's see last one last one no <laughs> just look longest book on your tbr i'm also if you're new here only choosing from my summer tbr i have a much larger physical tbr we're not like counting that yet because i want to get through my summer tbr first it is possibly air of fire i think under lock is shorter i do have magnolia parks into the dark which i will be able to read when i read the next daisy hates book so since that's already on my tbr this is also technically an option now it is in fact magnolia parks into the dark i'm so nervous this is the last book in magnolia and bj's point of view but like i said i don't like bj and a lot of people are saying like oh this book made me like him i'm serious when i say i don't think there's like a character arc that would make me like this man we now have 20 books on our july tbr let's pick 10 more baby we are going to random number generate out of 29 books and pick 10. Let's see. Generate 24. So this was 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. It is Crooked Kingdom, another long book. I really hope to God I have a few free days because geez, I have like three books that are now like super long on my TBR. This is the next and last book in the Six of Crows duology. I love Six of Crows. The reason I haven't read this yet is because I don't want it to be over and I probably won't read the other books in the Grishaverse quite yet because I'm on a book buying van and I have like no plans on buying them anytime soon. I've been nervous about it. I'm excited though to finally get to it. Like, oh my gosh, I need to just do it. I need to just get to this book now generating 1 to 28 because there's only 28 books left boom generate 21 this is still 14 because i didn't pick any book from the top i'm actually gonna count this way now because let's switch it up scene 17 18 19 20 21 I got this book sent to me but I'm really excited about it. It's called Hypnotized by Love. It is like an enemies to lovers and our main girl is like a hypnotist and the guy that she falls in love with is a guy who like doubts that hypnotizing can be used for therapy because she's like a hypnotist therapist person. I'm interested in that subject in general because I'm a big like psychology nerd. I am excited to get to this. Thank you to the publishers who sent me this. I am actually so pumped and I think this is going to be like a fun read to get into and it's not super long so that helps me a lot. Now generating 1 to 27, generate 10. I'll start here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's see. Okay, the rule book by Sarah Adams. I'm not gonna read the cheat sheet. I know this is like the second book in that series. I just read my first Sarah Adams book and I really liked it, but I just know I'm not going to like like the trope in the cheat sheet. So like, why would I buy it and waste my time? If you guys think I should read it, let me know and like maybe I'll see if I could get it from like my library or like a local used bookshop or anything like that. So I'm gonna go straight into the rule book. They are interconnected standalones. I'm cool with that. It looks summery. I actually don't know if this is set in the summer or not. I actually got this in a blind date with a book, which is really a good blind date with a book pick. Another short one that I think I'll be able to read in a day. Easy, quick, good to add to my TBR now. Let's see. 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 14, 15, 16. 16. Okay. These Twisted Bonds by Lexi Ryan. I was so not convinced if I was going to finish the series or not. I don't know if it's a duology. I don't know if it's a trilogy. I don't know if this is the last book or maybe the second book in a nine book series. I don't know. All I know is I've read These Hollow Vows, which is the first book in the series, and I didn't love it. It was very much middle of the road for me. There were like more complaints than things that I enjoyed. Not to say anything bad about the author or anything, like to each their own with their book opinions. Like if you loved it, totally cool just wasn't my favorite thing the one thing i was interested in though was who the heck does she end up with the love triangle so like oh my gosh i cannot tell so i got the second book because it was on book outlet i am so curious to see like what happens next and you know what that's a sign of good writing if i didn't even really enjoy the book and i still am like wait i need to know what happens next i gotta give it to her there and okay, now generating one through 25 
21 again! And 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, let's see. What is this? Oh, I bought this book not knowing it was the author of The Kissing Booth. I've never read The Kissing Booth. Maybe the book's really good, but I hate that movie so bad. I don't know much about it other than it's fake dating. I got it when Andrew was here in January, and then I found out it was Beth Riegel's, and it made me, like, not want to read it, which, like, no offense to her. I've never read one of her books. Why am I being so stingy? I just really don't like the movie The Kissing Booth, so I need to, like, get over that, and I need to just read it and get off my TBR. I might I love this. So, 24 now. Generate 16. Again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 is six scorched roses. So she's made her way back onto the TBR, even though she wasn't chosen in the blindly choosing my TBR. Again, good to just have like quick, easy reads for those really busy days. I do have much more free time now that I have graduated college. I do think this challenge will be remotely possible if I am disciplined. Tough to mention because I keep talking about it. I'm trying to do this in an attempt to like lower my screen time too, because my social media addiction is like very concerning. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm excited to have those books for when I do have like longer work days because they do happen. I do have days where I have both of my job. I will need like quick little short books for days like those. Now generating out of 23. Out of 23, 12! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have Finley Donovan is killing it. This is like a thriller comedy. Like it's like almost like a dark comedy. I don't know if it's necessarily dark in the sense of like the topic's really dark. I think she's writing a book and she's talking to her publisher one day and someone overhears her and thinks she's a hit woman and hires her and she does it. It's obviously like a comedy. I have three books left out of 30, y'all. Out of 22, 17, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh my gosh! Okay, now I really have to read Part of Your World because 17 is just for the summer by Abby Jimenez. I really hope I actually Actually get to this. I really hope that I can stick with this challenge and I actually get to this because I'm excited about this. I've heard that everyone loves this. Really every single person I've seen review this has given it a five stars. Now generating out of 21 because that's how many books are left on the TBR. 20! 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 17, 18, 19, 20! I fully went the opposite way hoping that it was Funny Story and once again it was the book right next to Funny Story. This is kind of devastating for me right now. Oh, but it's not because I'm excited about this book too and it's a short, easy read, which is what I need. It's Happily Never After. We finally got it. It had three rounds to be chosen and the first two it didn't and now it's here. So I'm happy she made her way back. I love Lynn Painter. I'm trying to read her whole backlist too. We have one book left. See? One! The long game. I've heard good things about this book too. She wrote The Spanish Love Deception and I know that a lot of people hate that book and I know there's cringy parts. I still thought the cringy parts were cringy and I still gave it like a three and a half, I think even four stars now that I think about it. It was fun. So as I'm looking at these, I am now realizing this challenge I have set for myself is very real. Please join me if you guys would like. I will be posting my weekly TBRs as well so you guys can kind of like maybe even try to like buddy read with me or you can just like go along with the theme that I have to get like the books on your TBR down Let's get our physical TBRs down together. If you want to follow along with me and you have not yet subscribed, you might as well subscribe, see how I do. A weekly spoiler-free reading vlog for this challenge will be coming out every Wednesday. And if you want daily updates, I will be posting daily updates on my TikTok to see how we're doing. So if you want to follow my TikTok or any of my socials, they're always linked down below. Go ahead and comment down below a book you're excited to read and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will see you guys all on Friday for our lifestyle video of the week. Okay, y'all, goodbye!